Asalaamu Alaikum uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Sasa Sasi, we're back again with another episode of Young and Gifted, hosted by myself, uh, Mapu Brizu Ahmed and uh, Shakil Malik, Asalaamu Alaikum. Yeah, we hope you're well. We've been away for a little while um, due, uh, because of Ramzan, obviously. We hope uh, that all the viewers are well. Um, today we've got with us uh, two super special guests and I'm really excited about today's show, to be honest with you. Um, we have with us um, one chap. The first guy we've got here, the Bengali guy, born and brought up in Tower Hamlets, who has interviewed some of the biggest A-list celebrities in the planet. Um, he's, a he's interviewed people from Nicole Scherzinger, Rita Ora, Little Mix, 3T. Now, most of you might not know who 3T are, but that's probably me showing my age. They're Michael Jackson's nephews who were massive um, in, the, in the late 90s, early, early noughties. Um, also... Um, Noel Gallagher, Danny Dyer, and Simon Cowell, but to name some. Um, let me introduce him, Sugarpuff. Asalaamu Alaikum, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you so much for having me. No, how was the um, intro? The, int the intro was fine. <laughs> <laughs> done really well. <laughs> Thank you. How, how have you been? How have you been? Um, I've been very well. Um, well, I'm excited to be here today. It's a um, pleasure to have you on. You guys. Thank you for coming down. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, the other person that we have here uh, as well today with us, um, the absolute singing sensation, um, the legend that is, I'm a big fan, I've got to admit, uh, Mr. Janaid Mir, he doesn't need any more introduction. Wow, what an introduction, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not my legend, but yeah. <laughs> um, how are you, bro? I'm good, I'm good. I just um, come from a, um, a live session I've just done now, so my voice is a bit, you know, it's all good. croaky, but yeah. We're going to get you to sing shortly. You're going to get me to sing? Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, so without further ado, let's um, show you one of Sugarpuff's videos, uh, if that's alright, Riz. Yeah, yeah, of course. So let's, let's show you what he's about to begin with. He's Puff on the outside. He's Sweet on the inside. It's Sugarpuff's showreel. Get in. That's me, guys. I'm Sugarpuff. We know. No. <laughs> you came in here screaming. I love you. Can I hug you? Of course you can. Yes. Who we have today with us? It's Nick Jonas. It's your second year presenting the Radio Teen Awards. Oh my God, what's happening with you? You're doing fashion. Yeah, you're yeah. doing um, presenting. Are you prioritizing your music? Yes, I'm really. Of course I am. You know, my album comes out in January. You know, I had number yeah. one single this year already, and I became a vegetarian two years ago. I cooked you up a few seeds, and I'm like, you're still right. <laughs> what is your best memory of Comic Relief? Because you've been doing it for years, I believe. Well, I don't know, but I probably will remember this moment for a long time. I th we could be getting it on uh, in, in, in behind the scenes. Who knows? <laughs> behind the scenes? <laughs> hey! Is, is that like a little hint or something? I've never ever said, I am a role model and I'm trying to be a role model because we all make mistakes and yes. then you get judged by it. And the reason why they see you as a role model is because you're independent. You've gone through so much mm. and there you still are. Katie Pass is still standing in videos of you on our phone really yeah you know when you came to one you were at one of our festivals or something and you, it was how you doing and you were going for it and literally it makes me so happy oh. it's my favorite thing ever you just make me so what's all that about telling all your fans to be like a dalmatian thing i need 101 i like that congratulations on baby I thought I'd make it. and what's the other one this is a picture of me salmon. that's like a mug shot so your face is on a cake who would you want to eat your head? Of course, Rihanna. Rihanna? Yeah, because it's cake. I you know what I mean? Yeah, I can Rihanna actually eat Rihanna cake, like, uh, Rihanna, of course. I have a vision of her eating your, your head, actually. I know this is so bad. She'll be like, one and two, let me, na, 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 and she'll probably, <laughs> she'll probably do a, a dirty one or something. You should eat my head on the cake. Mm, that would be delicious. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you need to get rid of one. Yeah. 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 Jimmy Fan Smith Hart, how did he actually not get a boner, basically? Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes. Yes. Oh. 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 You don't. You just get, you get one. It'd be rude to not. Yeah, it's rude not to, isn't it? I'm here at the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 premiere in Leicester Square. I have got ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding-a-ding. -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding. 
Nicole Schlesinger, how are you doing, girl? Was it a bit rubbish not being a part of the crew this time? It was a bit rubbish, man. I mean, the whole first movie, I was like, not with the whole gang, and I was missing them. And I'm loving you right now. You know what? You are yeah. shamed. Sing to me! I'll have your neck! Oh! I'll have your neck! I'll have your neck just like that! Oh. Like that! Oh! Oh! Perfect! The first scenario is... I'm the thug. And you're the, you're, you're the thug? Yes. Oh, this is going to be hard. I've, 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 I've been really busy. Can you just remind me how much I owe you? One pound. I've only got 75 pence. What did I say to you last time? You said you wanted your pound. Don't do this to me. When are you going to give me my pound? When I get my neck... When I get another 25p, I'll be able to give you a pound. At the moment, I've only got 75 pence. Well, you better because you know what's going to come to you. What's going to come to me? Do anything for you, yes, I would. I'll give you love, I'll give you love. They have won two Brit Awards, Yo. five mobiles. Yes. They've had five number ones Boom. and have sold over 10 million records. Yes. It is the Janaskian <laughs> Shop Line. Is there a mirror in your pocket? Let me check. Because I see myself inside your pants. I laid out rose petals on my bed for you. Oh! Uh, I don't know what to say. Do you want to David, imagine, yeah, I was auditioning for Britain's Got Talent. What comment would you give me? Let me start. I've been married a long time ago. And then since then, I've done a lot of exercise. My lady lumps have gone. Oh, so they've gone. So is there any loose skin? Maybe you don't have to keep looking through. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take shots with somebody. Shot, shot, You're stuck in a drawer. Uh, who would you want to open that drawer? It's so adorable! Thank you, girl! You guys are so adorable as well. I know why they call you Sugar Puff now. Yeah, yeah. Go on, give me an explanation, girl. You're, sugar. you're a puff of sugar. Okay, uh, yeah, so we're back. Um, so that was uh, Sugar Puff's material. Um, as you saw, very entertaining, very interesting. We will be taking calls. The telephone number here is 0203 397 4740. That's 0203 397 4740. The number will be uh, going across the bottom. So if you've got any questions for these guys, feel free to call in. They'll be happy to uh, answer your questions. Right, okay, Sugar Puff. Uh, first question, please. Yes. Where did the name Sugar Puff come from? Like, that's a very interesting name you've got there. Um, the name Sugar Puff came from, it's basically, I'm a puff on the outside and I'm sweet on the inside and that's where it came from. Fair <laughs> enough, fair <laughs> enough. You can't argue with that. How, yes. how, how did you end up getting into this industry, Sugar Puff? Um, well, basically, I was really depressed at university and yeah, I just felt like I had to do something that I actually love and um, I just wanted to basically do whatever I like. So basically, I always wanted to become a presenter. Um, I bought a HD camera, I went around filming, interviewing random people um, and just um, discussing like different type of topics. Then I made up a show reel and I sent it off to companies and the first one hired me and I started my career from there. Obviously, your, your interviews are crazy, yes. um, you know, and it's the kind of material that other uh, interviewers can't get out of these celebrities. Yes. Um, what inspired you to interview um, in that way, um, you know, that, that mode of interviews? What got you into doing that? Uh, actually, my family, because my, my family, my siblings, like my sisters, brothers, um, even my parents, they always say, like, be who you are, isn't it? Like, be happy and just be confident. Why should you be scared of anything? And that's me being confident. So you've always had this flair, this flamboyancy about you? Yeah, I'm sugar puff. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough. So how old were you when you first started all this? Um, my interest in showbiz and entertainment, I was 
from a young age, I always had an interest in showbiz and entertainment. Um, like I used to record top of the pops and all that on tape, watch it back. Um, I always loved music and films. So um, my interest for sh showbiz and entertainment, it was always there. Who would you say is your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration are my family again. Like my nan, she's my nanny, she's awesome. Like she's just the best. My parents, my siblings. Like there are certain qualities that I really love about them and different skills that they've got to offer. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, so, I took so, a bit so, from everyone. So, so how, how have they inspired you? Like for example, my nan, she's a designer. She makes like tiles and all. She can do everything basically. My, nan. my sister, she's very creative as well. Mm -hmm. um, she, when I was little, she used to like um, make clothes and all that. Okay. Same as my little sister, she was in the art. So, for example, the way they helped me is I started making my own like clothes. So when I went out, like one day I saw Vivian Westwood and she was like, "Oh, I love your clothes." And I was like, "Oh, thanks. I I made it myself." So again, that helped me in my career. Like, come on, I got Vivian Westwood now. Um, telling me that she likes my things. So that really helped me in my career. Like just general stuff. But really, the musicness was just me. I love music. The music side of things, I love can music. Can you sing at all? I'm a bedroom singer. I, can we hear Shower some bars? Uh, <laughs> what do you want to hear? Uh, whatever what you've got. got. Uh, <laughs> 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 I don't know what to sing. You're under okay. the spotlight. You're under the spotlight. Okay. Let's do this. All right. Actually, I've been singing um, Fifth Harmony quite a lot recently. Let's hear it. Let's hear okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come <Cut me> in. <laughs> Three, right. two, one, go. go. Uh huh. Show me what you got, cuz ooh, I love your style. Uh huh. Show me what you got, cuz I don't wanna waste my time. Baby, they never said, uh uh, baby, I'm worth it. Uh huh, uh. Oh, do you do you do you do you do you do you Excellent. Oh, Janet, jump in. See that this was a young and gifted exclusive. You've just heard Sugar Puff singing live yeah. on air. Featuring Janaid. <laughs> Featuring Janaid. Featuring Janaid. Right, Sugar Puff, who would you say was the most famous person that you've interviewed? To be honest, I've interviewed so many. I just, I just can't. Who's your think. personal favourite? Let's, 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 just, let's just take a call. Let's just take a call. Okay. Let, bear with me one second. Okay. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. Can you hear me? Oh, we've just lost the caller. We? Okay. We've just lost the caller. Shit, sure, carry on. Okay, what was the question? Uh, the, the, the most famous person that you've... The interviewed. famous person? See, I've interviewed so many famous people, like... It's just personally, who, who's, personally, who's the one that you want to The thing to is, really they keep interview. on changing, because I, I love everyone that I interview, because mm. most of the interviews that, I, that, I, that come to me, I actually want to do them. I'm a fan of this. So a recent one can be Fifth Harmony, that I just, I just sang their song. Yeah. Um, there can be, who else was there? Ariana Grande, she's like one of the biggest female stars at the moment. I just love her, everyone who I interview. Okay, so if that's the case, who would you like to interview next? Like, who's on your list? Um, I think I'd like to interview people like the Kardashians. I was gonna, say, I was gonna mention them actually, because uh, you have, I noticed that you haven't done I, that. I've, I have met Kim and Chloe though, and they're really nice. It's just that it was more like a social type of thing. It wasn't like... I know a lot of people that'd be very excited to speak to you about that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so I want to interview Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez. I've met them all, but it's just that obviously I want the viewers to watch the interview, so I'd like to interview Just them. as an exclusive for Young and Gifted, is Simon Cowell really as mean as he comes across on TV? No, he is lovely. He, Simon Cowell is really nice. In fact, that's an exclusive. I may actually have a meeting with him. There you, there see. you go. Oh, there you go, go. Young and Gifted. Yeah. Yeah. We're bringing you first. all the exclusives first today. So, of, of all the interviews that you've done, yes. have you ever had any awkward ones where the people didn't want to be interviewed by you um, or they've just behaved in a really awkward way with you? Um, I've had many interviews where it was awkward, but at the end of the day, I know how to deal with people. Mm, 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 I can mm. deal with my family. I can deal, well, I can deal with everything. If, one thing actually I say is, if you can deal with your family full of different personalities, you can take on the world. Let's, let's, on that note, let's take, a, let's take the first call. Hello, caller, can you hear me? Hello, caller. You're live through to Young and Gifted. Uh, they got shy. You're intimidating all these people, Sugar Puff. What, what are you doing here? They don't want to speak to you, <laughs> but then they don't want to speak to you. <laughs> okay. um, who's the most annoying celebrity that you've interviewed? The thing is, I've got this personality where I can just gel with most personalities. 
So I don't really find anyone annoying. I just. But has there I, been the way, anyone? The way I overcome it is because I've got quite a big personality. I'm quite loud. So um, I, I just, I just somehow get by the annoying. So sometimes, uh, two other people, these people are annoying, but to me, they people. they just come across as normal, basically. Let's let's try again with the telephone lines. Hello, okay. caller. You're through to Young and Gifted. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, caller, where are you calling from? What's your name? Am I speaking on video? No, no, you're speaking live. Hello, Hello can you... Who am I speaking to? You're speaking to the host. You've got Sugar Puff and you've got Janaid Mir here. No, no, you're speaking live. Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff, yeah. hello, how are you? Can, can you turn the t volume down on your TV? Okay, I just want to ask um, Sugar Buff a question. Yeah. Okay, fire away. You're live through to him. I really, 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 really want to know. Yes. Mm hmm. Why is Sugar Buff so fat? Okay, I'm fat because I'm a puff on the outside and I'm sweet in the inside. But really, I just like being big. Generally, I'm a big guy. The big, thing is, it's a part, it's a part of Sugar Puff, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's absolutely fine. Well done. Yes, very um, well said. So you've interviewed loads of people. You've interviewed Ariana Grande yes. about three or four times. Yes. Who would you like to interview again, other than Ariana Grande? I would like to interview... Who would I like to interview again out of the ones that I interviewed? Mm. Little Mix. Little Mix. I love Little Mix so much. They're just, they're just such fun, nice girls. and. Yeah, it's just this amazing buzz they give give me, and they, I think because they're my age as well, it's like they're funny, they're a bit childish like me, to be honest. Mm. Um, so yeah, I'd love to interview Little Mix, and I, I love Perry Edwards. I can't believe Zayn Malik, to be honest, left her by text. Shocking, awful. shocking behaviour. Awful. Shocking. Is she okay? Are you in contact with her? Um, I know people that are in contact with her and she is dealing with it bravely. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's try our next caller. Caller, you're live through to Young and Gifted. Hello. Hi there. Hi, can I just say hi to Junaid? Sorry? Hi to Junaid. Oh. <laughs> yes, of course yeah. you can. You're live through to Junaid. You can ask hey. him whatever you want. What's up? Hi Junaid, this is Free Shampoo Girl. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Shampoo Girl. <laughs> Shampoo. How are you doing? I'm good. I can see you on TV. I, I see. I know. I know Shampoo Girl because she came to the tour that I was doing with Adam Saleh, and then I saw you at a chicken shop, right? <laughs> really yeah, random. Hi, my daughter said hi to you as well. Oh, I tell her. I said hello. Thank you very much for your call, caller. Much appreciated. Do keep on calling in. Um, the telephone number is 0203-397-4740. Any questions that you have, please feel free to to call us in, and these guys will answer them for you. On that note, actually, did, you, did she say Shampoo Girl? Shampoo Girl. What's the story name? behind that? I don't know, to be honest. I think, um, I don't know, she's just trying to be different, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> she's got lovely hair, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Sugar Puff. Yes. Uh, just before I go there, let's try the next caller. Okay. Hello, caller, you're live through to Young and Gifted? Hello, Sugar Puff. Yes. <laughs> Seek forgiveness and pray to Allah. Sorry, we didn't catch what you said. Sorry. We didn't Hello? catch what you said. I think she's on pray for Allah. <laughs> pray for oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, where do you see your career heading? I see my I see myself having a very bright future. Okay. Um like I've been recently I've been having loads of meetings with um, production companies. Um, well recently the last interview that I did Simon Cowell's P actually called me telling me how it was a great interview. Mm -hmm. So um, that's something, like, I think I just need to work on that and he'll actually call me. So um, I've had uh, meetings with ITV2, um, Channel 4, with the head of talent of Channel 4, um, also with renowned productions. Mm -hmm. um, yes, there's someone actually that's actually really, so um, I went to a production, I went to a meeting with a production company called Renowned. Um, and Robert Cook, mm -hmm. who's also like he's he's like well known in the industry, right? Um, he organised it, and I must say he's been helping me out loads recently. And it's just so nice that there are people out there that want to actually help you. And that's and he's not the only one. There's Stephanie Tachi from OK Magazine, Tina Campbell, um, 
there's so many. Sure. So, yeah. Thanks, cool. Right, okay, so y the, the industry you're in is just quite hard to get into at the moment because I don't know anybody else who's yes. actually doing that. Yes. If somebody did want to follow in your footsteps, mm -hmm. what, would they, what advice do you have for them? What would they need to do? The advice I'd say mm -hmm. is, the advice I'd give is be confident, don't care what people say to you. If someone says you can't interview that person, make sure you make it happen. If you need to blag it, if you need to, if someone comes in your way, just move them out of the way. <coughs> if you need to get an interview, you will do it. If someone says no, you can't listen to them, you will do it. Because there are some interviews that I couldn't get and I got. It's because I was persistent and I told myself I'm going to do it. And any examples? Well, just really stalking the person. No, no, I'm <laughs> no, 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 no. not stalking, sorry. <laughs> Sending loads of emails, just... Just so who, just who, who is it that you couldn't got uh, could, uh, excuse me couldn't get but then you eventually got three T is one of them. Oh wow! Okay, um, there's, there's quite a few. Iggy Azalea. Okay. How was just as a by the way? How was interviewing three T? Interviewing three T. It was it was cool. They actually really know. They're like normal people, isn't it? Yeah. Like with them. Do you know what the funny thing is? I actually interviewed them in a the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> how, did that, how did that happen? Um, because I didn't have nowhere to interview them and I had I had basically 20 minute interview time with them. I couldn't find a space and the team couldn't find a space. So I was like, boys, we have to do it in the toilet. I had to do it in the toilet. <laughs> that's, that's some serious and dedication. You know what? It was smelling really badly. Oh, and I was like and like during like different takes, I was like I was singing their songs to them. I'm like, don't worry. <laughs> and I was like, why? Why? <laughs> I was doing that little sugar thing puff. That. We're going to yeah. cut to a commercial break now. Um, inshallah, uh, please stay tuned and we will catch you all on the other side after the break. Thank you very much.